Hey there, Joe. Jeepers! You scared me! How would you like to take a break from brushing your teeth and learn about flying trapeze? Oh boy, would I? Whoa, where am I? You're at Emerald City Trapeze, Joe. Here you'll find everything you need to fly like a real trapeze artist. Oh boy! Flying trapeze is performed usually over a net with a group of three to five people. The goal is to have the flyers from the board end of the net swing over and do a trick in the air, then get caught by the catcher who is on the other side. Once that happens, the catcher has to throw the flyer back to the bar to make a safe return to their flyer friends. Oh boy, I can't wait to get up there. Whoa there, bud. Hold on just one second. Wow, is that legendary circus catcher Nick Glom? That's right, Joe. Professional and world-renowned trapeze catcher Nicky G is here to take you the rest of the way. Now before you can climb that ladder, we gotta do a few things down here on the ground. First things first, you need a safety belt. Now, once we get that on nice and snug, we're gonna run you through a little thing called ground school. Wow, that catcher sure is one good-looking fella. Nice one, bud. You'll be an all-star in no time. Just remember these easy flying trapeze safety tips. Always wear your safety belt. Always climb the ladder with two hands. Always make sure you're wearing your ascender. Always make sure your pulleys are greased and pulled. Always make sure your bulldogs are correctly calibrated. Always make sure your gauze is rolled from right to left in a non-binary situation. Always make sure that you're wearing no shoes, but always socks. Always make sure that you have at least two hands on the bar at all times. Always make sure your feet are walking where they're walking. Always make sure your hair is slicked back for aerodynamics. Always make sure your catcher is right or left-handed. Always make sure your catcher does not have his eyes closed. Always make sure that the street in which you are parked on is more than two hour parking as Seattle will give you a ticket. Always make sure that when you are going home at night, you have always told your mama where you're going. 